Hi everyone, it's Fahir from Leave the Couch and today we're reviewing the Salomon Speed Cross 4. So the Salomon Speed Cross 4 is an icon and now in its fourth generation it's received a couple of updates. The first thing that you'll notice is it looks kind of the same as the Speed Cross 3, but there's been some subtle updates to the silhouettes, some styling cues, and there's been some changes to the actual functionality. The first thing that caught my attention is the fit. The sensor fit system and the lacing, the speed lacing system combined together to give you that perfectly locked down fit. I find that uh, it really helped with tying down the midfoot and made it quite responsive as well, especially when running down technical terrain. As you might know with Salomon, they are slightly narrower than most shoes, so the midfoot and the forefoot might feel snug for a lot of people and it's quite inflexible as well. So make sure that you find the right size for you. I've had to take a half size up from my normal running shoe. So go into the store, make sure you get the right size and fit so that you're comfortable. Then Salomon have updated the grip. They've actually tightened up the lug pattern on the outsole and increased it by 22%, which makes it really, really aggressive and really grippy. I actually found this when running down lucid terrain, like the upper slopes of Devil's Peak. Normally, I run down there quite cautiously, but with this, it actually built confidence. You're making corners that you wouldn't necessarily make, even on the loosest, slippery stuff, and it was actually wet out that morning. So, it really built a lot of confidence, and I was actually quite impressed by the grip. But, that being said, it might have amazing grip, and it might be great on loose and muddy stuff, but it's not that one shoe fits all kind of terrain. So, if you are running on the loose, slippery stuff, like in the forest, perfect. But if you're running on the front face of Table Mountain, for example, which is more rockier, and when it gets wet out, it's really slippery. And I've actually found myself slipping a couple of times, especially in really, really rocky sections. But I can't fault the shoe. It fits great, it looks decent, and the grip is amazing. So for 2,300 Rand, I think that it's a great addition to any trail running shoe rotation. It shouldn't be in the malls, it should be out of the trails. Sit it free.